All right, guys, welcome to another video of my match analysis for the Intel World Tournament that took place last Tuesday. Uh, I'm going up against Nuki or Nucci. I don't know his name, so I'm sorry if I mispronounce it uh, against his Ibuki. Now, I will say I don't like this matchup. I don't like this matchup at all. I struggle against it because... So, like, okay, like, there's some seasons that I do well in this, and then there's some seasons that I just don't do. And, uh, Season 5, I don't think it's that bad for Chun, uh, or it hasn't been that bad for Chun in a while, but I do think that Buki can definitely, you know, get the mix-ups in if you're not too careful of the jump, but not too careful. That's what you're gonna see a lot in this matchup, is that I'm gonna be preemptively jumping, I'm gonna be, you know, wait, being wary of the jumps. I want to try to end tire as best as I can. Doesn't mean I'm going to, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Um, I haven't again. This is another matchup or another person that I don't know, never played on before, and so I was kind of you know, was think I was already thinking like, okay, this is fourth round. This is to get into top sixteen. This guy might be a little good, but we'll see. Um, and uh, see, we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm confident, but you know, it's not like it's not like the last matchup where I, I was playing against Honda. It's not that confident. It's confident, but not that confident. Round one. So, <laughs> the main thing is don't jump in because, you know, if they're anti-air, you're gonna take a mix-up. Uh, you want to watch out for the jumps. You want to watch out for the ex kunai. Uh, you want to be a range. You do outrange them. Like, you do outrange Ibuki in normals. So, Fierce Punch, uh, Standing Heavy Cake are your go-tos. But, he jumped right off the bat. I was not expecting him to jump right off the bat. And, so, yeah. So, I missed it. Missed my hit confirm there. Got, and then, there you go. So, that's a tool that I like to use. Is, um... I like to use uh, that tool to be able to back to, you know, to get that anti going. And so jump neutral is really strong in a sense because you can kind of just see where they're coming from and you just have a lot of range of that jump heavy kick. So it's just a really good tool to keep them off. Um, doesn't mean that it's going to work all the time. You kind of have to just, like it's somewhat sort of preemptive. You can react, but it's, you just have to really, you know, dedicate yourself to doing it. Okay, so I used my button, keep him away, went for that, didn't, didn't kind of do anything, I, I should have, I probably could have done something there, but it didn't. And, yeah, he's just going for the throws, and I'm willing to take the throws, just like I, I said in the other videos, take the throw, don't worry about it too much, don't have to, you know, extend yourself. Miss the crush counter combo, I should have been crushing middle kick instead, get the anti-air, and I did that wrong, I should have done, done heavy kick. So, here comes the bomb, and I just didn't know what to do in this situation. I don't really have a lot of experience with the bomb, and then I get mixed up. And this is basically how the matchup goes in a nutshell. I'm winning, and then I'll lose. And, and, and you know, if you don't defend against the, the V-Triggers, if you don't defend against the cross-up stuff, it's, this could happen. So you have to really be careful when they activate. And I just messed up with my combo and V-Trigger. And right now, I'm just kind of like w too worried about the dash up. I'm too worried about everything else. I missed my, my combo or my punish, actually. And so I'm playing kind of bad here. So I need to kind of breathe, get myself some pride. Get, I needed to land this. This is what kind of calmed me down in the match. Is that I was playing super bad, and now I'm, it's kind of like, okay, I think I'm okay now. Now I'm fine. So I needed that. I really needed that, to, that thing to, to keep me in it. Again, keep him in the corner, and I didn't do that. <laughs> that and see, and again, this is me also like watching the replay analysis for the first time, so or just doing this and watching the replay. You know, this is my this is kind of like me watching it with you guys, other than playing the matchup. So I should have stayed in the corner, and I did. Get the V trigger, get the counter hit. We won that one with pretty good life lead, and he didn't get to activate. So again, as long as I I, I can you know keep. Keep my life lead up, get the hits that I need to stay in it, I'll be fine. 
Because if he has to activate with the light of life on me, I'll be fine. But if he activates when I have low life, it's kind of, you know, not a GG, but it's like you have to really know how to block. And guess right. That's a punish. Yeah. So what happens here, let me kind of slow this down for you guys one time. So, when, it, when Ibuki hits the high Kanai, she's still way up in the air. So, when she lands, she's actually punishable. So, this is why the jab hit. So, if it's a high Kanai, you can definitely punish it, even on hit. Get the combo. And I'm kind of using that forward heavy kick a lot because I'm expecting them to like press buttons and he's been very active. So that's why I'm doing it a lot. I'm just waiting for the V-shift, didn't work. Or the throw, doesn't matter. Went for the throw mix up, went for another one. Try to bait it with a shimmy and didn't get it. Then I missed my entire and this is where I'm like, oh here we go. Here we go. And this is something I don't know. I actually don't know this. I don't know when the bomb is supposed to explode. I don't know if it's something he does, because I wait there, and then I tried jumping and I got explode. I don't know what, I don't know why it took forever to explode, but I got lucky with that crouching jab, and, you know, finished him with a crouching middle kick and spinning bird. Could have been bad, especially when that bomb exploded, but it didn't, so, kind of clutched it out at the very end. Um, you know, like, this matchup was very fast, really, you know, we kind of just, you know went at each other we didn't really there was no real defense being played there was no patience um so we're both kind of vying for that neutral right we're vying for it i'm trying to counter hit him with forward heavy kick he's trying to do crutch and middle punch or jump into kanai or just jumps and uh we're trying to play off of the oki that we each get from our moves so um uh, fortunately for me i was able to luck out and punish him from going into too, too deep um well, we're gonna see how it goes in this next match. I mean, I, I mean, obviously you guys can see, but but still, we're gonna pretend we didn't see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, my mindset going into this next match is, um, you know, treat it pretty much the same. Um, I'm expecting Ibuki to jump more. I'm expecting Ibuki to to rush in. So we'll see how it goes. And my dog is having a nightmare right behind me, so I'm just, you know, trying to soothe her a little bit. It's okay, bro. Alright. <laughs> so, this is why I jumped neutral right away, because I thought he was gonna jump. Because I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna let that happen one more time. So. No, unfortunately, it didn't happen, so we're just, you know. And that's plus for him. So because he did it lower, it's plus for him. This is where you have to kind of hold it. See, he canceled it and he's already on the way down. I'm still blocking it. Yeah. Not able. I was not able to press the button there. If anything, I, I might have been just a little too late. It did seem like it said it was able, so. But I pressed the button and I got hit. So I, I'm going to say it was, it was plus for him. So try to keep him off. He's using V-Skill more. So when they start using v skill more, I, I want to do round off. This is where I kind of messed up, okay? I thought, I, I forgot, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot that this is not crush counterable. Usually when you block with, or when you see a DP whip, or you do something like that, you do stand round outs, you know. That usually works, but it, since it's not, it was just a normal hit. I should have just gone for a combo. And so I thought I was gonna combo and it didn't. And then I'm going into Spinning Bird and got hit. So really bad. Uh, but whatever, we, we kind of corrected ourselves. So he passed, activated V trigger, went in, got the overhead to work. Took him in the corner, went for the throw, didn't work. And then the fireball worked. So I'm, I, again, I'm up around. I have a chance to close it out. I don't have a lot of meter. I don't, I don't have any meter right now. He has two bars, so I have to be very careful. I, I kind of go for the overhead sometimes just to kind of throw them off and it gets me away from them if they jump so it's it's a, you know it's a it's a very awkward start of a match but i like doing it here and there just in case they block they want to throw low or something you know i just kind of went for it i don't know it wasn't really a big uh like not like there wasn't like a big scheme for it it was just more like 
I think this is a good idea and I do love it. And it worked. Got me close and stuff. Did a forward heavy kick again. Signature move. Now I'm trying to footsie him, but I went from that jump. I don't know why. I just needed to play footsies here. And good. Keep him out. So right here, I know he's going to jump. I know 100% he's going to jump. I just got, I'm just waiting for him. And he hasn't anti-hired me very well, so I, that's why I kind of jumped too much. Get the counter hit. Go for the meaty. And now, so this is the adaptation that he does. He actually starts DPing me a lot in between my strings. You're gonna see that right away. This is what kind of kills me a little bit. Catches me with the kunai, gets me with the hit again. I'm trying to get away, so I V shift. Probably should have V shift break, but it's okay. Trying to keep him away, miss the juggle again. Yeah, it goes for another DB. This time was on his turn. Oh, you know, stole the turn. So now I'm in the corner, here comes the, the bomb, and I get hit by it. And that anti is what would really suck. If I would have anti him there, I might have probably stolen this round. Uh, because I have super. But it was just my fault. One thing I really needed to start doing more is doing is activating V-Trigger on jumps. And then that thing catches, I don't know. Because last time it cropped me up, so I wanted to walk forward, and then it just hit me. So, uh, I was kind of like bummed, but I'm like, I got my meter, I'm doing okay, I think I'll, I'll be fine. And so, you know, I just missed the entire, that's, that's the reason why I lost. This time I enter around, this time I get the cross up, I use my meter to kind of push him out, I missed that crouching jab. And again, hit. So I got him there, wanted to do another one, missed. And this time he just got away, he was just like, I'm, I'm out of here. And I was kind of ready for the spinning bird. But he floated away, couldn't do anything about it. And I missed that punish. Like, that's something you, you just can't do. You can't mess your punishes. When you're, you know, in a high stakes tournament like this. Try to get out, he actually anti me. Again, another DP. Another DP. Uh, like, this is like, the crazy stuff is like... It's actually the right call. Because... That's not a string that I'm doing. I'm not doing a string. There's a gap right in between. He just has to write, like you know, nail, nail the timing of that, of that that reversal. So even though it's awkward, it's the right thing. And I was kind of like, kind of blown away by it, but I was like, all right, whatever. I got my V trigger. I got meter. Then I missed the combo. And I don't know if that would have killed. This was a very awkward one. I probably should have done back heavy kick. Into Fierce Punch, but it wouldn't have killed. So, kind of got bummed. Went for the Shimmy, and he went for the Kunai. And here, I had to take the throw. And here, there's nothing you can do. I tried jumping here. There's nothing really you can do. You know? There's a, like, if I block it, I get chips. It was kind of like a weird feature, a super. But, yeah, I couldn't do anything in that spot. So let's be let's let's kind of have a recap before we go to the next match. You know, the first match, it was kind of like a bang bang. You know, we, we kind of fought each other too much, and I won. I came out victorious because, you know, I I got more crush counters, I got more confirms than he did. Second round, I kind of I think I played better second game. I just lost. I just missed some things, right? But I was, I, I felt like I had a better lead in that second one than the first one. So. I'm going in the third one kind of okay. I'm not very upset about it. I, I feel confident, but let's just see how it goes. Um, because like you, you get an idea and you get a feeling of how players approach and what are they looking for. And I felt like this person wasn't looking to footsie or anything. They were just kind of trying to force things. And when people forcing mix-ups or forcing their approach... He plays to my favor because I'm very defensive. So I'm waiting for them. So I'm usually looking for the dash up. I'm usually using my long range buttons, using my fireball. I probably should fireball a little bit more. But I'm just worried about the jump. That's my main concern. Just don't get jumped in. So. Go for the V skill. Go for the V skill again. That was a really good read on that jump neutral. That was really good. Just walked up, DP'd it. 
Okay. And the throw mix ups, and I'm willing to take these throws. It's okay. But this is not a good start for me for sure. Like, none of this is a good start. Ain't able, and then I, went, I forced the beat uh, Spinning Bird. Not a good start. <laughs> this whole round is really, really bad. Punish me. So that round, that round was bad. That round, I was kind of like, whoa. So I'm now like, okay. I need to settle down. I need to go back to what I was doing. Don't force it. And just wait for things, you know? Just, just be ready. Be more alert. So, going for V-Skills. Just kind of waiting. And so he went the, for the first thing. I didn't go for the top this time. Now it's my turn. So footsies and going back, right? I don't I don't play too close in. I stay back. You know, if I want to jump, I went for a jump, we traded, it's okay. Right. Try to get him on that thing, didn't work. Actually what I wanna do is I wanna see that combination that he did. I wanna see that combination where he did the jab jab or the, the target combo. I wanna see how negative that is. That's negative 8, so I should have punished that. Because he can continue it, but he didn't. And so you should be able to see, oh, this is punishable, I can do this. Like, even right here, I could have just jabbed, done something. So, good thing to learn, and good thing to know. Is that it's negative 8, so now I can punish it better, if that happens again. So again, look at the life lead change, right? Now the life lead is in my favor, because I settled down, and I'm letting him, you know... Take his own damage. He's the one making the save, and that's how you gotta play when you're chump. Don't 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 be too aggressive, but be on point when you have to punish. Play that footsie game. Stupid bomb always hits me. I swear. <laughs> but you know, I'm still winning, so I'm okay. I got meter. I'm good. <laughs> Trying to force that jump. Missed that. And then I waited for that, and I didn't spend any meters. So that was a good thing. So I didn't have to spend any meter. We're going to the last round, full stock of meter versus him. So this is the last round. This is basically let's see, you know, who can perform better. And one thing I haven't done is spinning bird, and that's why I did it right there because I hadn't done it, and so he hasn't seen that card. And when you can hide your DP for the longest time. And save it for these kind of moments, it's perfect. Because you know that it has a high chance of working. Because your opponents have not seen you do it yet. Right? So that's why it was so good for me to get that out right there. Because now it puts another layer into his uh, approach. So I don't get the anti air, which is again very unfortunate. I, want, I should have probably done it in Bird after that first throw. But, uh, last round kind of got me, like, thinking, like, maybe too much. So I shouldn't. I have to maybe trigger early to keep it from being negative two, and then I go for the stupid online mix-up, which is you know overhead into springboard, and then he jumped again. This time I land my combo, stay on the same side, go for the throw, get the win. Cause I didn't want to be cornered, right? And since he didn't wake up, I was like, I knew I could cross over him with with the forward heavy kick, and I got the throw. I think it, what happened is they tried probably go over DP on the other side. And since I crossed him up, it messed it up, and that's why I got the throw. Uh, he could have been just waiting for a block. I was kind of expecting like V-Shift. I thought he would tech it, honestly. I didn't think he would he would not tech it, but... It just panned out that way. Um, honestly, really good, really good Ibuki player. You know, he did his thing. He, he, he played he played his the way he, he wanted to. And he, he messed up on a couple things for sure. He capitalized a lot on the, my mistakes, which is really good. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, like, it was just me kind of calming down after that round and saying, okay, just, just kind of feel them out, feel the, the right, um, ranges and, and acknowledge when I can go in and when I, when I can, you know, expect him to go at me and have the right, uh, anti ready, the right defensive position ready. So I was kind of, I was kind of excited for it and, and I was happy that I, I was able to pull it out, and I was in top 16, so, uh, you know, 300 and some odd players that registered or, or signed in, and, uh, yeah, I'm on a good winning streak, um, right now I'm 4-0, and, 
and uh, we're gonna go see how I do against Chrissy CH. And I, I will break it down on the next video. Make sure you tune in for that one. Um, it's gonna, it, it, it's a pretty good set, and one that I, I'm actually gonna pay attention to a lot because I want to know what happened because. It, it was it was like you know it, it was a tale of two two parts so i'm excited for that one uh but all right i will see you guys in the next video peace